Hello, Paul Hamilton here for iPad Monthly. We're going to take a look at stitching together a historical timeline today. Um, let me show you the finished product here, or kind of finished here. And basically what I can do, or the kids can do, is just scroll along. It's been stitched together with all their research and dates. And then the students can actually press record and actually narrate the timeline and actually demonstrate their understanding. So it's a really smooth, I can't move it up and down. It just goes across beautifully. I can zoom in a little bit more if I need to and actually have that going across that way. Um, I can do a range of different things. So let's, let's take a look at actually how we did that. Um, I guess for this project, uh, we really do need to uh, ensure that we've got some experience with Explain Everything because it's it's not complicated, but there are some tools here that we're using that are probably not for beginners. Um, and if you're a little bit confident with Explain Everything, you should be okay with this. So let's start, we'll go with a black background. And let's start by bringing in the, the pictures that we actually are going to go in the historical timeline here. So I'm just gonna throw a few in really, really quickly, uh, just to give you an idea of how we go about it. Uh, let's bring in this one. Uh, I'll just press done. Um, let's go, let's bring in another one. So we'll do it with two and then you'll get the idea of actually how to do it. Um, so we've got that one. Let's go with a, a, an earlier one there. We'll press done, go in. Okay, so the, the main tools, let's stitch together these two and you'll get the idea of what we're actually doing here and trying to do. Uh, we're gonna use a couple of tools. The first one is obviously the move tool, which I'm on at the moment, the blue hand and the fingers uh, up there. And we're also gonna use the eye as well. We're gonna actually kind of manipulate and group together a fair bit of that. So they're the two that we're gonna do. So what I'm actually gonna do now um, is I'm gonna make this fairly big and I'm gonna to stitch together these two images. So I'll make that nice and straight. We'll make this one nice and straight as well. As good as we can get, that looks pretty good. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna get put some restrictions on these two images so it's gonna flow really, really nicely together. So what I can do is go to my infinity zoom and just zoom out a little bit if I need to. I'll be using that quite a lot as well. And then I'm just gonna press I and do a few things with my two images. First thing I'm gonna do is actually click on both images so they're selected. And what we're going to do here is we're going to do some arranging. No, we're not. We're going to lock them. Um, so I'm actually going to group them together first. So the first thing we're going to do is group them, which is the top of the edit mode. And then I'm actually going to lock them. Um, I'm going to lock both the scale and I'm also going to lock the vertical. So it'll allow me to go across and let's just have a bit of a play with that. That's actually really, really smooth going across now. And then it's just a case of adding to those two images. So what I might do now is use my infinity zoom again. It's another tool that we're using. Might just move that up a little bit. Let's bring in one more picture and go over that process again. So I'll bring in the picture. Uh, remember, it's got to be obviously in chronological order. Your kids will get the research done and so forth. Let's bring in, um, bring this in, uh, make it a bit small. It's got a bit of black there. So probably what I should have done is actually cropped it first. So let's go through that process. It's always good to have a look at it. So I'll get rid of that. Uh, we'll bring in the picture again. I'm find, finding most of these pictures in uh, Wikipedia, which is um, allows me to actually do that. So I'm gonna just going to crop this if I can. So we'll do a little bit of a crop here. Not working great with my airplay here, but we'll we'll manage Just say we want to grab this piece here. Um, some of the great features in Explain Everything allows me to kind of crop as I go. Now I've actually got rid of that black, so that should stitch together theoretically really well. I'll press back on the eye. When I hit that one, it's going to be both. I'll hit that one again and I'll group that. Now I don't actually have to lock that um, because it's actually grouped as part of the attributes of the other ones. Now it'll just scroll along and I actually can't move it. So that's kind of the stitching together of the timeline and it works together really well. Now the next step is what we could do is basically put in the timeline with it or you might just get your students to actually record the narration over the top. But let's show you how the actual text goes. So. Let's say we're putting a text on that. Uh, it's as simple as pressing. Uh, let's put a date on that. Um, I'm just going to put any date. Please don't correct me on this. And we're just going to stitch those together. So you can put some text there. We could also put some text on the bottom. Um, so if I hit the bottom down here, I say uh, this is 
when, da 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 da, hit the ticky box there. I could put that below or I could put that up top. Uh, let's put it below so they can put different text in. And then it's just a case of grouping those as well. So it's repeating the process. Uh, they're all grouped together now. I can hit my date there and there and I can actually group them. And don't forget, I can ungroup them at any stage as well. So now we've got this beautiful scrolling timeline ready for a narration, ready for the kids to actually demonstrate their understanding. So that's a tutorial, probably, I wouldn't say an advanced tutorial and explain everything, but you probably need a little bit of experience first. But I think this is a really smooth, uh, professional kind of finish when you actually export it as a movie file at the end. So this is Paul Hamilton here for iPad Monthly, signing off.